page. Okay. So this one, after you connect to the power source, you have to click this power button in order for it to boot up. Lah. So after boot up, it will show this screen. This is the startup screen. So this screen will start. All these are Android based. Lah. The main system is Android. So this screen has two OS, two OS. So Android and Windows. Windows is uh, this one. But the main one to control everything is the Android. Lah. So this is the Android toolbar two also. So you will see this screen. So the main function, whiteboard. So we can select different colors. You can write using a uh, finger or you can also write using the uh, pen. And you can keep it here. It is magnetic. So you can write like this. Be like this. Uh, use the pen is smoother. So if you use the uh, finger, maybe the friction is higher. So use this one to write it is better. So um unlike the normal whiteboard, so after this page is full you can add on another page so you don't have to erase okay. mm -hmm. keep switching the page page 2 uh, add another page so page 3 you can see you have many pages now you can just keep on switching to different pages and switch to different pages without erasing the content so to erase it you can either choose this eraser tool or you can use your prompt it will scratch the skin. It will scratch the skin. It has a protective film already. Oh. Okay. It has film already. So, and run it like this. So, how about using the eraser? Using the eraser, then it will like using this one. Oh. So, this one, when choosing pen, then it will write. When choose eraser, then it will erase. So, Okay, uh, this one, uh, this is a multi-touch screen, lab, so you can have both person writing at the same time. So, but you have to make sure this one is in this mode. It has two mode, so like after I click, switch another mode. When two finger pinch, it becomes zoom in or zoom out. It won't write for you. So when switching to this one, you can't zoom in. It will become, it will be writing mode, multi multi-touch writing. So, so whiteboard is like this, so the background color you can uh, change it, you can change it through here, through here you have settings, then background settings, you can choose different grid, different color, you want it, pink, no background. <laughs> so you can add grid. So different type of grid. If you prefer to have grid. So if you want to make a background, you can also upload the image. So after for example, after this meeting, you want to save this one for later. So you can save it um, as a whiteboard file so you can open it and edit later. So you save it. Or you want to share it to other person to their phone, right? So you can either save it uh, as a PDF file or you can save it as an image file. It's image file, so when you save, it will ask uh, so Soft file is the whiteboard file for you in order to for you to uh, open it back and you can uh, continue, you can write. So uh, uh, after exporting to PDF or image, then it's just for viewing. So save it. When you press save, uh, it's saved inside here. It's saved inside here. So, if you want, for example, if you want to uh, like share it to other person to their phone, uh, then you can take the scan. So, with Wi Fi, it will create this QR code. So, if you don't have internet, this QR code won't come up. So, now if you use your phone to scan this QR code, you will be able to download this screen. So, whatever you write here, you can view it in your phone. All the pages or the page one? Uh, all the pages. Yeah, it will show all the pages, then you can save, save, save. So you don't have to uh, take your phone, uh, use your phone to take a photo. The photo you can see other stuff. 
background, so no need to so this clear page will send to your so it's all the pages will send to under what file. Ah yeah. You can uh it will uh, after scanning, so it link you to a page so you can see uh image one, image two, image three, all the pages you can see. It will show it there, then you can download all the pages. So this is whiteboard app. So when exiting, um, they will ask you want to save or not. If you think you don't have, uh, no need to save it, then you just take notes. So beside uh, whiteboard, so normally we all we open PDF file right to for meeting, or we open uh, some content over the internet. So you can open anything. You can open a browser. For example, a browser. Or you open your PDF file through uh, Android. If you have PDF file or Word Excel PowerPoint file, you can insert uh, through Android. So after opening the file, inside you have the Office apps to open the file already. Now. So after opening, so for example, if you want to write on it, so you have to come to this tool. So after some while, it will, uh, uh, okay. it will hide this. Now. So you have to click at the edge here. So you come up. So it has a pen function here. So you can see all the toolbar here. So you can start writing. So whatever you open here, you can write on it. So it will uh, screenshot this page, this page, and you can start writing. So after jotting down all the important notes, uh, same thing. If you want to export to your phone or save it, save button is here. So export to your phone, you can click the QR button. So now you use your uh, handphone to scan it, you can download the, this page. So you don't have to take picture. Okay. So this is one of the... So these two functions you use the most uh, normally. The pen, pen in the toolbar and the Android and the whiteboard android app so besides these two you can screen mirror so okay screen mirror you can use any windows uh, uh, iphone android phone should you can uh, under same network or you connect to its hotspot you can able that you should be able to search uh, uh locate this under your for iPhone is AirPlay uh, AirPlay or your screen mirror or smart view smart view is for uh, Samsung then you can see this screen so you, this screen by default is uh, you can share up to four four at the same time so for example we have four participants they have made their own on presentation page huh? so inside their phone so I share screen this screen will split into four so four they, uh, the four uh, four mobile phone will project on this one so project on this one up to four huh? so if one then they will become one big one if you connect two then it's split into half so three four four is split into four then uh, the person can we can compare their works huh? Can compare their works if they are uh, their works in their phone, so all share it. So, if using a uh, laptop, you want to project your laptop here, you can either use a uh, wireless also, uh, Windows 8 and above, uh, it has wireless projection function built in already. So, so this one is Windows 7. Windows 7. Windows 7, though. Windows 7, you have to use HDMI port. Oh. Yeah, HDMI port ready here, and at the back there's one more. So there's one more port at the back. So either you use the Windows inside, or you use another computer. So. Normally we take dual OS eh, because some works you need to perform in Windows. Some uh, some tasks you perform in Android, it is very complicated. It's not very uh, the function is not that much inside Android. Android is more to user friendly. Eh? So like Android, right? 
uh, I whiteboard, click once, open, uh, open whiteboard. But if you open like Word, Excel, PowerPoint file in Android, while well, editing it is very difficult. So to, uh, to edit the files, normally we use Windows more. So Windows, uh, same thing, like how you use a normal computer, it's the same thing, start just with touch screen. With touch screen, so how to type, you can either connect to a keyboard or mouse USB, to USB, or when you select a text, text field, the keyboard will automatically come out. So for example, so without a keyboard, I can also type the keyboard will pop up. So when whenever I start to start to type something, I click the text field, then the keyboard will pop up. Thing if you want to open, for example, if you have uh, your Windows software, you install it here, just like how you install in a normal laptop. You install it here, you want to open, you want to start writing, so you go to the edge, so you want to start annotate, uh, you can just annotate through this toolbar. So after annotation, I want to open other stuff, I must exit the annotation mode. If not, I can't click. If not, I can't click. Uh, if you want to click something, you have to exit and you start clicking. So, uh, this is the. Because Windows is normally you have to double click, right? So you, have, it is, you need to do it very carefully or be a little time. Because uh, in Android, you just click once, but under Windows, you have to double click. So if you think this is very inconvenient, you can connect. Uh, wireless mouse, so you can just take it somewhere else to control it. So, you want to connect this one? Oh, but this one is a pretty mm. This one has to use the HDMI cable. Oh, okay, then um, you need to buy it. Yeah, I have to get an HDMI cable. HDMI cable. Oh, okay, I'm trying also. Yeah. Okay. I have my laptop if you want to try it. Okay. So, I tried the wireless projection. So this is a wireless projection app. This one. And go past. So this is the office. So I open PDF for the example point pass. So same like Android, you open you can have Play Store, you want to install what app. If you're able to search it in Play Store, you can download it. So other apps you have um, this easy upload is for, uh, for example, your content is in your smartphone. So after scanning this QR code, then you can send some images to straight away display here. So with internet, then it will come up. With, uh, when it shows the scan to upload text and pictures, and scan, then you can select pictures to upload here. Then you can open and is uh, present. Uh, pictures. So one more is the work kit. So this work kit, uh, so for example, uh, you want to start the voting here, you want to make it anonymous so uh, people don't know who voted uh, for what. So I can start voting then this option. Answer number one, selection number two, so next step, so single choice or multiple choice, anonymous, so start voting. 
So uh, everyone in the meeting room scan this, then they start to vote. So you can after they voted, the, this number will add on. So for example, twelve people voted. So display twelve. So you end your voting, then you see the result. Okay. So the result will come out here. So we know how uh, much the final outcome uh, after the voting. So uh, people won't know uh, who voted for. What, uh, so after voting, just we we'll just see the result. So file manager, file manager is for for example you insert pen drive. So inside, you will, uh, if you have pictures, then it's, uh, open the picture file. So video file, document file, but Excel PowerPoint is under document file. So so what what screen record? Screen record. You can also screen record your. Works uh. so uh, what presenting is very important. So this welcome app, welcome app is for designing for you to easy design the backdrop. Uh. So it has all the template ready. Uh, or you advance to create new template. You upload your logo here. So you you can have your save template here. So next time, just enter it, and you just edit the text. Uh. But for uh, for example today for what title then you. By the way, uh, edit, then you start projecting. So you start project, then you can write on top as a pen here. So this is for you to easy uh, design the backdrop. Like. So for example, if today you have event, then you design for that event. Here, so the voice is actually very loud if you want to hold a video conference. So, for example, if uh, a Mister uh, yeah, speaking in a normal voice over there, uh, this uh, camera can catch it very clearly. So we just do uh, we just do an example. Uh, example. Let's try it. So I start recording. I move for uh, over here. I start to speak with a normal voice, uh, normal, normal voice. So we try. How is the? Okay, 
so if there's no voice record here, we use Windows voice record. So you can see the when it's become bigger is the is the uh, my voice. So my voice can be bigger bigger. Testing testing. So you can see the when it's become bigger is the uh, my voice. My voice bigger bigger. But this recording, when it's on, I we can still project other stuff on the uh, screen. Yeah, uh, you we can, can leave it, it here. Uh, so, um, because under Android, there's no voice recording. So you just open it under Windows. Then minimize it. Uh, yeah, okay. you can just uh, you open it, you minimize it. So it works on the background? Yeah, so you just leave it. Record here. Okay. And then you start everything. Then you can share out the file. Can share out the file, right? Uh, this one cannot. Only uh, only under under Android you can share. Because the QR sharing is QR sharing is all Android based. So you want to copy? Uh, you want to copy? You can copy using a pen drive. Uh, uh, using a pen drive. Where is it stored? This default store in. Wi-Fi, this is uh, the other password here. So this one is 
uh, it's not after you connect to your Wi-Fi, then it will display your Wi-Fi name. Open the uh, screen mirror, screen mirror app. So I try to project. Uh, so if I'm a guest, if I were a guest, so I want to connect to this one. I have to connect to the hotspot. Uh, I don't want to people to access my Wi-Fi. I connect to this hotspot. Yeah, I prepare a hotspot for the guest to connect. Connected to the hotspot, so all Windows 8 and above it will has a connect to a wireless display function. I come to settings to find it. If I can't find it, I search for it. So I connect. It will automatically search. Up. So this device name came up. This name came up here. So I can connect. This is my screen. So I can also use this toolbar to start writing on it. I use this toolbar to start writing on it. But the limitation for wireless display is you can't wireless control back your device. So for example, I want to click this, not click. This is the limitation for wireless display. So for example, if I want to connect this one, but at the same time, I want to control touchscreen control it back. So uh, maybe I want to use the touchscreen function for me to draw something here. So normally we use mouse to draw very hard. So I want to use this touchscreen function to draw maybe in my uh, pane or anything. So like this, if I draw like this, it's not so brown, right? So if you want like this to draw, you have to connect through HDMI cable, and but HDMI cable is also for uh, display only. So it has a touch touch USB cable. You can connect your USB cable here, so you can touch control your laptop. So for example, if you connected the cable, click here, click here, then it will all all display here. It will all uh, send the signal back to here. It will you can have the touch signal sent to your laptop. So if without the cable, you can't touch. So if you connect only HDMI cable, for now we're using wireless projection. So if you use uh, HDMI cable only, it's still you can't touch. So if we, with another extra cable, the touch cable, USB, so after connecting, you can, you can touch control back. So this cable is same as the key, uh, printer cable. The printer cable. So printer, there's two end. One end is a normal USB you connect to our laptop. So another end is a like a square thing. It's, a, it's the same. Just connect here. So then you can touch control. So we open anything. Then you use this toolbar. Normally people all use this toolbar. Open tab. They start writing. They start sharing. So this is it. So other uh, function. So so for example, now I use this one, and I have another phone. I want to use the wireless projection also. Like just now, I said you can uh, up to four person sharing the thing. So for example, if I use another phone to connect. So if I just connect, I'm split into two already. So if you have another person to join, then you will split into three into four. That's fine to try.
so this one is after connected, so you have to go to uh, this wireless projection. Search, uh, wait for it to search. This one, this is the. Yeah. So, iPhone also can. iPhone connect to the hotspot, open your airplay, then you can find. Wireless uh, mirror, mirror, yeah, right. Yeah. So if you want to use 
that one we have to connect with the HDMI. Uh, we have to connect HDMI. Yeah, because Windows 7 there's no. Maybe we can device. use the uh, okay, HDMI cable. HDMI cable. Yeah. So, for example, Zoom meeting, we have to connect So, just down. Same like uh, using your computer, it's work, it works exactly like a computer but with the touchscreen function. If we use our computer to pop into Zoom and then use the mirror uh, to the big screen, then the camera you're using the computer's camera or the big screen camera? Oh, your mirror, uh, it will be using this one. Uh, your computer's camera. So in order to use the camera, I have to. I have to, yeah, open the, the screen. open the screen. Well, normally, people they start a meeting using a computer here. Then this one is one of the participant. Uh, add this participant. Open. Then it's very easy to control through here to invite people here. But this one is uh, showing all the person here. So pin this one on top so everyone see this screen. So you just uh, work at the background using another computer. If you think it's too hard to double click, you can right click and click open. To right click it, you press longer until uh, don't move uh, until the square come out. Then uh, this one is a right click and click open. So because sometimes it's difficult for us to twice and you don't know if it's detected or not. So this is Zoom app. So we can open and join any meeting through the code. So invite and you start Zoom meeting. So if you're using this camera and the microphone here, so the voice is very clear. Okay, so shut this down. So the power button, if you click once, it only step by. Yeah, Sleep. step by. Sleep. Sleep the screen. So it have a shut down. So to shut down, you have to click longer. Click longer, either, either click longer or there's this toolbar. So this is like iPhone toolbar, this one. So this is the home, this is the back. This is the Windows, Windows thing, if you click it. This is the whiteboard app, this is the fan function. On this toolbar, either you use this toolbar or this toolbar. This toolbar, there's this, for you, like adjuster, something like adjuster. So it will come out this control panel like that. And just the volume. So the volume just now haven't max yet. If you prefer louder, you can just click louder. So the screen also you can adjust to different brightness. Okay, so so this touch sensing can be turned off. So uh, after turning off, maybe you need to perform some tasks in order to open it back. So better don't mess with it. Okay. Uh, you need to use uh, this remote to click. Uh, I forgot how, what is the button. You have to click some button uh, in order to open back the touchscreen function. Oh, okay. So don't, don't touch that, that, that button. Better we move it. No, not, not this one. This one. The touch. No, this one. It's a touch lock. Okay, okay. Uh, right. After you touch, you will uh, ask for confirmation. So, you can also power off here. If you want to power off here, you can power off using this one. Long test. Long test, it will start to prompt you on the power off. Or you can either click or it will automatically count down. So, you can see it will wait for the windows to shut down first. So, normally, windows need to shut down. So, 
Windows update is zero, right? So because uh, this is new, so maybe the you will have some Windows update for a few days. So after you finish download, then you won't have this window update so frequent. So this few days, if you continue using it and connect it to the Wi-Fi, you will keep updating the windows. So after this windows fully shut down, then only it will proceed to shut down this one. So I have to wait for it. So after shutting down, then screen turn off. Everything turned off to open it, you can power off. Okay, to open, to power it on it, you have to power on the switch and also click this power button to open. What is that button? The last one? This one. Yeah. This one is input source. So, for example, just now we want to connect to a HDMI, uh, HDMI to this laptop. So, clicking this button, it will show. Um, you want to open the built-in windows or you want to open uh, HDMI 1 or you want to open HDMI 2 so this, this is the front HDMI port at the back there is one more HDMI port here so you, will, you can have two so you will have HDMI 1 and HDMI 2 so other port you can have some USB port here if this three is not enough Uh, one more is the audio output. If you think the audio is not loud enough, you can uh, connect speaker. to a speaker. Mm -hmm. But it's very loud already. <laughs> okay. So that is it. Uh. I have to wait for the Windows update. like a phone and works like a laptop just with touch function with whiteboard function with this pen function the more you use this function more whiteboard and this pen Thank you. 